48 late model automobiles zoom past the starting line. As they speed by, see if you can spot the family car. Almost every American mech is represented. The beach is the smoothest part of the course until the speed merchants get it chewed up enough to make things interesting. There's the white flag for the final lap. Junior Johnson is still ahead, but not by much. And here they come roaring down to the finish line. Johnson's ahead by a few seconds only. There's the checkered flag. And it's Junior Johnson, the winner by 23 seconds over Bobby Johns, who is second. Richard Petty is third. His father, Lee, is fourth. It's a great moment for Junior's pit crew and a great moment for him. Here he comes into the winner's circle to get the big NASCAR Grand National Sweepstakes Championship trophy. And not incidentally, a prize of $19,600, which ain't hay. Junior Johnson, if you ask me, he drove a great race and he deserves the prize because pitting yourself against the kind of competition we saw today and winning means you've really got the guts and nerve and skill that are the mark of a true champ. And although he is almost two and a half miles behind, all it would take would be one yellow flag for him to be able to close up a lot of that ground. It's a very important development in the race. And as you can see, uh, Jim David Pearson knows that and wants to get back in front of Cale to guarantee him staying behind him. Okay, well, I think that's going to be it for the day for Cale Yarbrough. Fine effort, but it is all over now. For Cale Yarbrough, it started out a day of smiles and sunshine, Cale. You're to the champion, and congratulations. Well, but on today's race, it had to be a frustrating day for well, you. Well, it sure was, Chris. Uh, you know, I'm real happy to win the championship, but in this Holly Farm Chevrolet, ran so good all day long, and we lost the clutch right there, Dan. It's just one of those things, but, you know, uh, you just have to take a little bad with the good. We can't complain. We've had a good year. You were the fastest man on the track, Hale, and a couple of times you went back, you had tire trouble, but you... You stayed right in there, Cal. You won the championship the way a champion should win it. And today you gave us a show that I think never will be forgotten. I want to congratulate you and wish you well next year. Thank you, Chris. We'll be back. finished a comfortable sixth position to capture the 1981 Winston Cup Grand National Championship. Well, every lap that clicked off, I knew I was getting that much closer to the championship, and I just kept getting, I was getting numb. I really was. I didn't know what, I just, I can't tell you what it's like, uh, particularly after being so close one other time, and, and then it's just such a, Satisfying feeling. I could just, you know, I don't know. I don't want to talk or anything. Oh, I know. Now, are you ready to go? Well, I, yeah, I'm ready. Uh, you know, this is what it's all about. This is when you, uh, this is what you put your whole season on the line right here. It's kind of like a, a best analogy I can think of. It's kind of like a white flag laugh at Talladega, and you got four guys lined up behind you, and you're leading the race, and you say, Here I am, come and get me. this one could be mean more to you than the first one well, I didn't think it could but I swear I believe it does uh, things that have happened to us and and uh, the, again this year having to come from behind and we've had a great year with 12 wins uh, yeah it does mean a lot more to me and I believe next year that it'll mean even more and uh, I just thank God that, that I that I've been able to find myself in a situation where I can do my thing
In all respect, my family over here and, and uh, Lisa and Meredith and Robert is the greatest thing ever happened to me. But being inducted into this Hall of Fame, it can never, never uh, done anything that I appreciate anymore. With that, I just thank you, and I'm glad to be a part of this Hall of Fame. Thank you.